Hey everyone. So, we're going to be continuing with the Fatal Frame franchise today. We're going to be playing Fatal Frame 2, Crimson Butterfly. Yeah, that's the title. Um, it's a very interesting entry in the Fatal Frame series, and it's one of the more unique ones. Um, in the past, I've talked about concepts like perfect sequels. Uh, you know, where uh, one of the main, or some of the main criteria of a perfect sequel involve, you know, basically taking everything from the first game and making it much better. And that's what Fatal Frame 2 does. It's been a while since I've been exposed to this game, so I'm going to go ahead and call this a blind playthrough. Because I don't think I've ever actually played it. I have memories of the game. But I don't remember if I ever sat down and played it for an extensive period of time, if that makes sense. Either way, uh, this is a very interesting title, like I said before. And, I mean, I say that kind of all the time uh, <laughs> with, like, any game that we end up playing. But uh, Fatal Frame 2 is pretty unique in the sense that instead of having one protagonist, it has two. If you've seen the cover art, or sorry, the... Uh, Actually, yes, the cover art for, you know, the, the main box art. Uh, it does have two girls in a white kimono, and they're bound by, like, this uh, red string. I think it's by their heart. Um, either way, we're going to be seeing some of the improvements done to this game um, in comparison to the first one, as well as, you know, a bunch of other things. Uh, is this game scarier or not? I'm not really sure. That's going to be... Something I guess we'll find out as uh, as we check it out. So let me get that ready here from my end. Mm. Now, just like with Fatal Frame uh, 1, just in case anything pops up, I will have a guide just pending. Just in case anything happens. If, we get, if we're if we like, you know, well, I'll still play it the way we did, you know, 1, where I basically did it by myself, right? But just in case some stupid puzzle comes up and we're like stuck on it for like 10 minutes i might as well just look up a solution instead of just sitting there and waiting if i can't for some reason figure it out although that may not happen but just in case i'll have it there in the background pending uh in case i ever need to look at it for some reason but let me get this loaded here from my end give me one second and then i have to make sure that we edit the uh audio levels so as to, yeah, because they're going to be outrageously loud. Oh, yeah. I have to lower it a little bit. Mm. Let's swap on over to this. Okay. So there's the title. Um, actually, I sh haven't done this. Um... I believe here actually give me one second mm -hmm. the other thing as well uh this is going to be an undubbed version of the game so we're not going to be playing the game with the english voice acting the entire game is going to be in japanese when it comes to the voices everything else text everything will be in english and that's just to you know have a spicier experience um yeah, now it's in now it's in white screen compared to a bit ago. You can see it's a little stretched out, not too much. It doesn't look bad, which is pretty rad. But you can see there are some slight graphical errors every now and again, and we will encounter these as the game goes on. Like here in the middle of gallery, there's like a little line. <clears throat> but all right, so there's a few new things to look into. So for example, with movement, you now have 2D and 3D. Um, I looked into this a little bit ago just to see like what was better. Uh, turns out apparently 3D movement is better. As for, you know, looking, I'm going to go with inverted controls. And for this, you can finally change your movement controls. So in the first game, the left analog stick uh, moved the camera around. And the right analog stick moved you. And now here we can have it so that the left analog stick moves you. And the right analog stick is the camera, like most video games. As for the button configuration, this doesn't really matter too much, um, at least for me. It's basically the same control scheme as the first game, uh, to an extent. 
Okay, subtitles on, and everything should be good to go. Now, like I mentioned, this game does improve on a lot of things over the first one. When it comes to power-ups, when it comes to the camera itself, when it comes to just everything. It's much better. And the plot apparently is really, really good. I don't remember too much of it. I just remember that it does involve two twin sisters. And fucked up shit happens. So now we can start a new game. Play it on normal. And let's begin. ここで遊んだよね。そうだね。ここももうすぐ寝ちゃうんだよね。足大丈夫？痛くない？ちょっとね。でも平気。ねえ、ミオ。お姉ちゃん。私ね、あの時。お姉ちゃん。お姉ちゃん。どうしたの? That's the intro to the game. So, if we would have been hearing this in English, we would have been hearing like Mayu, Mayu, Mayu over and over and over again instead of just sister, right? Or little sister. But we get to play as Mio. And we now have to try to find our sister. She's somewhere. Now, one thing to note is that the movement is a little janky. Like, here I'm holding left. <laughs> and she's just spinning in place. Oh no, are these like tank controls? It seems a little bit like it. Um, with the 3D stuff. Because mm. we might be able to change we, we can change the controllers later if I need to. But as always, we can walk around a little bit. Uh, run. This is, this is running. This is your running speed. Later games change that, like, drastically.
お姉ちゃんしずかは消えたんだわたし聞いたことがある。この辺りにお祭りの日に消えた村があって森で迷った人はその村に誘われるってここもしかして Chapter 1 The Lost Village So unlike Fatal Frame 1 where it takes place in a mansion here we have to go through a village of all things um Which is pretty interesting. It's a much, much, much bigger game. That's for sure. Oh, I really do have to get used to these controls.、Uh, it seems like this is like. It feels like it is tank controls, where left and right just turn you in place, and then you can hold forward、uh, to move forward.、Uh, I don't know if I like this control scheme that much. It's like a more modern tank control sort of scenario. Also, that flame got bigger.、Um, we'll take it easy at first, just kind of get some of the scenery going. But yeah, the game, like I said, is much bigger. It still is a little janky with the movement department, especially with some of the camera angles. At least from a little bit that I played to test it out a while, test it out a while ago. But. Let's see here. There's something on the ground. A black bag. There are several pieces of paper and a photo inside. A news clipping from a year ago. The headline reads Geolo Geological Surveyor Missing. With the start of construction for All God's Dam approaching, Kutsumi Makimura, 26, a geological surveyor dispatched to the area, has gone missing. Mr. Makimura went to the area to investigate the site that would be submerged once the dam was built, but hasn't been heard, for, sorry, heard from for five days. And another one. The search for Masumi Makimura, the surveyor missing since the fourth day this month, came, came to a close yesterday. Mr. Makimura had been helping to conduct a geological survey for All God's Dam. As of yesterday, he has been missing for ten days. A photo of a man and a woman are attached to the news clipping. Weird. Okay. So it seems like a dam was supposed to be built in this area. And because of that,、uh, whoever came to investigate, whoever was in charge of it, more than likely went missing due to the spirits and stuff, right? And. Man, that's fucking creepy. So,、uh, yeah, some of the things that they say won't be translated、uh, or subtitled,、uh, which is, I guess, fine.、Um, you can kind of, I mean, if you know some Japanese, you can kind of make out what, they're, what they'll be saying.
One thing that, well, we got from this at least right off the bat is that at least our twin sister seems to be more paranormally inclined than our protagonist. Well, I mean, she is one of the protagonists, right? But <clears throat> it seems like she's a little more in tune with the spirit world. Because as soon as we touched her, we were able to see some fucked up things. So here we have the map. Just like... In the Humano Mansion, there's a fucking sunken fireplace room. I should have looked into whether or not this is like a common thing in Japan. I don't remember. But let's start exploring. We get a little like mini mansion thing. Right. So let's try to find a few things if we can. Oh. I really do have to get used to these fucking controls. I might, I really might swap out in a bit. <clears throat> so, Woman's Notebook 1. I've heard rumors about the Lost Village before. Long ago, a massacre occurred on the day of a ceremony, and the village was wiped from the map. Twin deity statues in the forest lead lost people to this village entrance, or to the village entrance. Once you pass through the gate, however, you cannot go back. The village eternally re sorry, relives that night of death. The insane laughter of a woman is set to echo throughout the village. The only survivor of the massacre at the village was a lone woman. Oh. Well then. Let's see what we have here. Actually, I think this is the safe room, is it? Yes, it is. Alright, cool. Perfect. So, let's go ahead and save real quick. And then we're gonna return to title. Just really quickly. So now, if I turn left, she will turn left as well. Like, she will still perform the movement to that direction, but she's not gonna, you know, if I hold left, she'll start walking left, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> Woman's Notebook 2. Here's where we see some of the gla uh, graphical glitches, but that's fine. Sometimes I send someone passing by the window. He carries a torch and mutters things. He seems to be searching for somebody, but it's not Masumi. In the distance, I can hear some kind of sad ceremonial song being sung. They say that this village vanished on the day of the ceremony, and that day is repeated over and over again. So that's pretty sad, not gonna lie. Uh, if you were to be exposed to this sort of scenario. Some old kimonos, they're all women kimonos. Nothing here, nothing on the urn. We have to mash X on everything to see if we can pick up items. Nope. And the sacred water right off the bat. Okay. So a full heal. Now, this is one of the only things I personally don't like too much about the game. Right now we have to get through that, you know, through her to get to to get through this door. Oh, no, never mind. Uh in some in some situations, we are gonna have to push our sister out of the way. Just to be able to get through. And you can, you can push her. It just feels rude. <laughs> um some old ornamental objects on the shelf. None of them look especially useful. What would be useful in general? <clears throat> Again, just interacting with the entire environment just to see if we can get something out of it. Or lower. Okay. Well, are we missing sound effects? Nah. Nah, there's creaking. It's just some are louder than others, it seems. 
So let's start going this way. Now, one thing your sister will do is she will, like, hot block you every now and again. Be like, oh, by the way, no, don't go too far. Or, hey, come check this out. Or, not that way. You know, something like that. And she'll stop you. Special. She'll stop you every now and again if you're kind of going the wrong way. And, like Miku, she is looking at everything. I'm not sure if she can sense items or if she can see items the way we can. Uh, or the way we could in Fatal Frame 1. But we will have to find out. So this door is locked. Let's see. Like... <laughs> we just fucking push out of the way. Oh. Oh, that's a wall. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but sometimes when I come into a room, that will happen. I'll be, like, ho holding forward to walk through the door, and then the camera angle changes, and then she will turn around. That's just normal. Masami, it's me, Miyako. I came to look for you. Let's go home together. Together we can make it. Call for me if you find this. I'll be nearby. Miss you. Anything here on the floor? Nope. Also, you can't talk to your sister. Like, if you stand near her and, and mash X, like, nothing happens. There's some murky water in the wash basin. Anything else? Cold, damp wind is blowing from the atrium. There are lanterns at the back of the garden. They're lit. This game franchise loves atriums, doesn't it? Like, just giving them to you all the time. I don't think there's anything this way either. No, that's a wall. That's it. We double check the map. That should be a corner. Yeah. So, these little butterflies, those are just the safe points. So, we've visited here. We've come all the way. Or, actually, we've went this way instead and we couldn't go into this room because it was locked so we could go up the stairs and see what happens uh and then we can maybe come down the stairs this way so let's go back it, it really does make you feel bad for pushing your sister out of the fucking way but yeah controls are are still pretty fucking janky I think Fatal Frame 1 might have had slightly better controls, at least so far with what I've played. Uh, I, I guess I'll just have to get used to it, and maybe I won't complain too much, but it is kind of janky. Oh. Okay. Guess we're going the wrong way. So there you go. Here we go. It just started, so I haven't missed too, too much. But, alright, yeah, so, since we walked a little bit too far away, our sister's like, hey, uh, hold up. And we're like, it's because she doesn't want you to go further, right? So, let's try going this way. I've been doing alright, man. Hopefully you've been doing well well as well. So before this door was locked and we couldn't go through it, but now it's unlocked. So we found a flashlight. Seems like the batteries are still good, someone must have left it here. Camera Obscura pointers. An old book is under the flashlight. 
camera pointers is written on the cover. And I guess here's when we start getting the tutorial for the actual camera itself. So the camera was made by Dr. Assel to take photographs of beings in the spiritual plane that normally cannot be seen. It can reveal events from the past through the lingering thoughts of individuals. It is also able to photograph spiritual beings that are invisible to the human eye. Taking a, f sorry, taking a photo of an unseen being has an exorcismal effect, but simultaneously creates a sort of link with them. If the camera obscura is used carelessly, these beings may even gain the upper hand on the user. I wonder if I can photograph the site at the heart of this village for uh, the, sorry at the heart of this village's forbidden ritual. If Doctor Asa were here, I'm sure he would be excited. Seijiro Makabe. It's much older than the flashlight. Seems like it's originally from this house. Okay. No, I don't think you can actually switch between the characters. Um, you kind of, in this game, unlike the first game, you do have your sibling with you at all times instead of us looking for them. Uh, but here, we kind of have to, like, protect her. Um, as far as I remember, she kind of become it kind of, it's kind of like a permanent escort mission in a way. Uh, like, the ghost will try to kill both of you, I think. Uh, and you just have to, you know, take care of them like in the first game. So, basic camera operations, it's going to be very similar to the first game. So, same thing, we pull up the camera with the struggle button, and then we're able to just shoot with X. So if we do this, for example, we are able to, you know, mess around with the camera a little bit. I do have to get used to these controls, though, because now that I finally have, like, the freedom to have inverted camera controls, uh, it'll be it'll be so nice. But again, now I can move comfortably. It'll be great. Mm -hmm. But now we have a camera, so now we're going to be able to encounter uh, ghosts. Now, unlike Fatal Frame 1, where we had safe rooms, there are no safe rooms in this game. Uh, you can encounter ghosts everywhere in any room at any time it'll be random in most cases i don't think there it's that high right now because well it's the intro right it's the tutorial um or the first chapter but as the game goes on we're going to be having a lot more encounters come in here and there um did we check this corner up here yes that's where we got a. Uh, that's where we got the herbal medicine um so now we can go back i guess we can go back to the safe room and then maybe explore this area a little bit 
Let's look at the camera stuff a bit. So here's a bunch of the function. Now, we do have our films, uh, which is, right now we just have type 14, which is the basic blue film. Uh, and we can swap between them. Like here, film with any, hardly any extra, this film, oh, they give you an infinite type of film. That is pretty cool. Yeah, the, the, the game seems to, uh, at least from my perspective so far, they kind of stepped it up a little bit. So, interesting. Now, there's some functions we can have. Uh, that This is like, a, I can't remember if these are the special ones that you get when you complete the game, or which one it was, but either way. But then we have the basic upgrades. So, we've got things like range. Uh, so we've got things like range, which, again, the little circle increases. We have accumulation, max spirit power up to two. So one thing I know is that uh, they did change it up a little bit. This camera is a little different. So you see how we have spirit orbs up there? I believe in the first game, the spirit orbs were the things that we used to cast like special abilities like paralysis or stop or pushback, whatever. Here, you use them for power-ups. Uh, some use up points, but then other things, other special abilities, like here with spirit orbs, we can upgrade them, like, further. Uh, you can't get max upgrades on your first playthrough. Apparently, there's not enough spirit orbs to go around, and you kind of have to play through the game again. Um, so there's that. <laughs> but it's pretty neat. There's a, there's a bunch of cool new things added to this camera uh, that we'll be able to see as, you know, things go as the, as the game progresses. So... The presence you were feeling in front of the door is gone now. It is said that you can capture things that ordinary people can't see with this camera. Could this be the power of the camera obscure? Um, no, I don't think I'll be doing another playthrough of this game afterwards. Uh, I mean, maybe next year if I don't have anything to do for Halloween. Or maybe in the future we might do another playthrough of this game series. Um, one thing that I kind of hate about certain game titles is, or just certain games, is when, uh, they don't let you play on the highest difficulty right off the bat. Um, I know why they did it back then for replayability, right? You can play on easy or normal. If you play on easy, you just get to see the ending. If you play on normal, you get to unlock hard mode. And then if you finish hard mode, you get to do nightmare mode and so on and so forth. I kind of prefer when the game gives you all the difficulty options or maybe like hard and then maybe a harder option right on, like right afterwards. But unfortunately, this game doesn't do that. So because of that... Um, I already looked at the door, bro. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Um, right. So, um, since they don't let you, you know, play on harder difficulties, you kind of don't have access to everything right off the bat, which is a bit of a shame. But, oh well. Let's go back to the safe room, which should be here, right? Yes. And then from there, we'll try to proceed. I did a little bit up until like the first ghost fight in this game, uh, when I was just testing this out, which was like 10 minutes or so total. Right now we're taking a little longer because we're watching cutscenes and I'm also, you know, not running. Mainly for the atmosphere. Uh, we'll save here, like usual. We'll try to keep the beginning of the chapter fresh uh and then any saves afterwards uh we'll do them on other like locations okay so we need to find a key now what do you have to say about the fireplace the rope supporting the shelf has broken and the, sh the shelf has fallen on the sunken fireplace Okay. 
Something is reflecting the light. Herbal medicine. Neat. What else do we have? It looks like the atrium beyond... It looks like an atrium beyond the, the lattice. You can see a deck beyond the atrium. Okay. What about this? No. No. Is this is a, a screen. There's an old mosquito net hanging here. The cord in the net is hanging. Sorry, the cord the net is hanging by is drooping from the weight of the dust and the damp, and is damp from the moisture. Oh man! Not only that, this room is like just a health hazard. There's a hanging painting here, but it's so faded you can't even see the colors of the flowers. Also. Okay. Someone, anyone, whoever sees this, look for me. I'm trapped in the village. Help me. There's some old bedding spread out on the floor. There's a lump in it, as if there's something inside. Can we look at it? Nope. What about here? Sliding door of the closet won't open anymore. Maybe it's warped? Maybe. Right, let's try going back out then. Okay. So, let's see if there's anything else we can do. We can't look at, or we can't look at that. Um. Oh, what about this way? Here. There's like things back there. There's an old. There's some old furniture beyond the partition screen. Uh, can we move it? No. Okay. So, in that case, um, I mean, we saw this from here, from the tatami room. Um, uh, I don't think we'll be able to go back if we try going through this entrance. I think it's gonna let us out of here, and then we only have like this that links these two places together. So, hmm. Uh, let's try leaving through the front door. Let's see if something happens. <clears throat> okay. Vanishes that door. Okay. A different place shows in the photo. It looks like a coal brazier somewhere. You put the coal brazier photo in your file. You can view the special photos you've taken from the file on the menu, or from file on the menu. So that's one really cool thing about this game. Like I mentioned, they did step up uh, the first game a lot. Here, or before, photos you took appear here. Like every photo we've taken so far, right? But if we go to our file, we can actually see important photos that we've taken. So for example, here's our clue. Uh, this is the photo of the sunken fireplace room door. So before, you kind of had to kind of guess, or if you forgot, if you put the game down, you're like, shit, where do I go? And then it's like, oh, the storage room. Here, at least now, you're like, oh, well, now I can see at least what we need to go for. Um, how many points do we have so far? 500, so that's not enough for anything. I did want to check through here. One of these, not that, <laughs> that's a wasted shot. Um, also, if you look there, film, film type 14 at the very top right, uh, it has like those little things at the bottom, those little lines, uh, those, I think it's got a, a reload time every time you shoot something, like every time you shoot a picture, you have to wait for it to reload, quote unquote. Okay, now let's try going back to this room. 
all the way back in the atrium, and that's where the coal container was. Also, do remember that we can't see ghosts, you know, but her sister, it seems like she can. So she's just like looking around and probably seeing a bunch of shit that we can't. Something shows in the photo. Looks like an injured man. Yeah, if you heard the clicking, that's because I couldn't take a picture. I had to wait until those little lines at the bottom of the film type 14 at the top changed or, uh, Sorry, loaded all the way. Or like, you know. Um, I was trying to remember if there was a, a way to change the film on the fly. But it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be a way to do that. I guess we still have to go through the menu like in the first game. Maybe that gets changed in further titles. I'm not sure. I'm taking it a little slow, mainly because we might encounter, like, snapshot opportunities, and I don't want to miss them. <laughs> or we'll just have a ghost appear for, like, a, a split second, and if we're moving, it might throw us off or throw off our timing. So I don't want to risk that. So let's go back to the safe room here before we proceed through that door. Even though we've kind of gone in there already. Hard to believe that it's already been an hour. Almost. Or like at the 50 minute mark. <laughs> but again, we are just taking it slow. At least for now. Mainly for the atmosphere. Nope. It's open. Sliding door of the closet won't open anymore. So yeah, so that's still kind of fucked. Uh, then we still have the lump here. And that's it, it seems. So there was like nothing in here. I guess it was just a tutorial. Oh. Never mind. A ginger key. The crest with the ginger design is carved on the copper key. I really have to get used to changing, uh, or, uh, the way we control the camera. I, I move with the left analog stick, which moves you, uh, when in the other game is what moved the, uh, angle of the camera. Also, it seems like the game kind of points you to the direction of, like, one of those ghosts if you bring out the camera at the right time, and even if you're not facing them. 
shit. We missed it. That sucks. Uh, because you only get one shot at those. You don't get any more. Alright. Let's use the ginger key. Okay. What do we have in here? Uh, beckoner. Okay. So we've like a folding screen door. Surface on it has come loose and it's falling off. It's probably it was probably a painted scene at one time, but it's hard to tell now. Hmm. There's something in the drawer. More herbal medicine. Okay. Old kimonos and ornaments are crammed into the drawer haphazardly. Okay. There's some dishes and pots in the cabinets. There isn't anything unusual about them. Yeah, also, our sister has a messed up leg, uh, as you can tell uh, by her bandage, like there above the sock. How much time has it passed since I came here? How long will this night last? I can't take the darkness. It's driving me crazy. I have to get out of here. I have to see Mazumi. I must be tired. If I start to relax, I pass out. Even in a crazy place like this, the darkness here is creeping into my dreams. Slaughter, rivers of blood, fallen people, a woman in a bloodstained kimono, insane laughter, and twin sisters calling out, don't kill me. That woman's laugh is seared into my mind. I won't sleep anymore. door closed. Oh boy. Masumi found my notes. He was in the village. I can see him soon. I can't move. I'll wait here. He'll be back. He'll find the way out. If he comes back. He came. That's fucking creepy, dude. Spirit capture. Capturing and exercising spirits. You can exercise spirits by taking photographs of them with the camera obscura. The greater the response indicated on the charge gauge in the capture circle, the greater damage you can inflict on the spirit. So now we no longer have like little characters at the bottom of the screen. We now have a little gauge that will fill up as time goes on, I think. When the gauge, sorry, when the charge ga gauge glows red, the in that instant is a shutter chance. If you can shoot during this instant, you can inflict heavier damage on the spirit and repel it back further. Blast back. Using this blast back ability will push back an approaching spirit. You have, you must have film to shoot. When shooting in, success in succession, you have to wait for the next uh, shot to load before shooting again. While loading, pressing the shutter button will have no effect. Load time is shown in the top right. High power film gives quicker, gives more damage and loads quicker. So, yeah, that's one thing we can do. We can also 
do wombo combos in this game. So you can, if you're able to, shoot quick enough uh, and in succession, after a shutter moment, you're able to do combos. So let's try to see if we can get some of those. Because now we have a fight. So there, if you saw, the gauge was filled up a little bit. There's a zero shot. That's good. And that kind of pushed her back a bit. Oh. Fatal frame, yeah, we got a fatal frame. You got very lucky there. Shit. Did not mean to do that. That was a waste of shot. Chapter 2 already. So, I don't know if you noticed, but that ghost didn't have a health bar. We couldn't see the health bar. If there is one, we can't see it right off the bat. We have to actually unlock the health bar option. <laughs> Which is fucking funny. There's something on the floor. Aragonite. Or Aragonite. It looks like a glowing blue crystal. That spirit must have dropped it. Once you find the Spirit Stone Radio, you can use radio on the menu to listen to stones. What the fuck? And then we got a Spirit Orb. So, Spirit Orbs. Spirit Orbs are items used to raise the maximum levels of the camera's basic functions or power-up lenses. Use a Spirit Orb from function upgrades on the camera menu to increase the maximum level of a camera's function or power-up lens. After adding a spirit orb to one of the camera's basic functions or power-up lenses, you can raise its level by using points you've accumulated through capturing spirits. You can equip or upgrade the camera equipment on the camera screen that is found on the menu. Okay. Some kind of device is on the table. It looks like a radio. Well, there's the fucking stone radio thing. Yeah, the spirit stone radio. This is a really interesting piece of equipment, or at least it looks like it. She's ready from the menu to hear the spirit of voices you've collected. Okay, and then some notes about it. So, <clears throat> through the use of crystals in its circuits, this improved version of the crystal radio is able to tune into voices from the spirit world. If a person wears a crystal for a long time, their thoughts will remain within, creating a special type of crystal, a spirit stone. According to Dr. Ossel, the radio can also pick up sounds from the spirit world, indicating feelings and intuitions in a similar manner between the sympathetic phenomenon that occurs between twins? What the fuck? Okay. What? <laughs> okay then. Um, radio. You've got one stone. The Aragonite. A blue Aragonite left where the woman who wandered into the village was.
That's it. That's super wild. This is a really interesting, like, contraption. And it kind of fascinates me. Now, let's check our camera a little bit. Um, we can't see anything. And we don't have any equipped, of course. Um, and I don't think we have any any power-up lenses, right? No. Okay. So... Oh, I see. Okay, so you need spirit orbs as well as points in order to... Um, what's it called? In order to actually upgrade, right? We're going to wait until we hit the save point again to upgrade our camera, just to confirm a few things before we actually commit and jump in. So, let's look at the map again here. So, our sister's missing for some reason. She's not here. So, let's start looking around. Some of the books appear to be about local legends and tales, but there's nothing in detail. You guys say anything about the scrolls on the floor? Folklorous Memo. The ceremony master, Mr. Kuro Kurosawa, gave me a very warm welcome. The village has no chief. The ceremony master presides over the village. I wonder if this village was founded by people who wanted to preserve their sacred rituals and festivals. Most notable among all gods' folklore is the gate to hell. Because <laughs> of course, right? Legend, legend that has been passed down for years. It is an archetype an archetypal tale of a gate or hole that marks the border to the world of the dead, also called Hades, the underworld, or the netherworld. It is a forbidden place that is feared and hated, but is also worshipped as well. The idea of hell has been a core belief of humans since ancient times. This village supports the theory that the belief is universal. The forbidden ritual regarding this gate to hell, quote-unquote, that takes place here is something no one is allowed to see or speak of. The strict taboo is probably the result of a ceremony concerning the border with hell coming closer to the living world. Villagers lead a simple life. Deep in the mountains, they struggle to forage food for their daily meals. The village has little contact with the outside world. They continue to practice the ways of old, frozen, and time. Interesting. Anything else? Some old books lined up. They're so faded you can't even read the titles. We'll open up the first page. It'll have the copyright and everything. <laughs> Alright, nothing here. And I don't think this is a door, right? Yeah, no. But it you can see our light shining across. That's pretty wild. Okay. So, from this point forward, I have no idea as to what we specifically need to do. I only did the tutorial up until the first boss fight, and that's it. Or first little fight, and that's it. Is this going blue? Is there something this way? Behind us? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I mean, we should be fine. It's just... We now have to explore a little bit more. That's weird. Like, uh, I'm getting, like, the little blue thing. Like, somewhere up here. But, alright. Well, that's fine. Like, there, it's, like, glowing blue faintly, and then it comes back. Is that a wandering ghost? Is that me just messing up? Not sure. Let's try to see if we can then turn this, though. I didn't try. Nope. Uh, let's see if this kimono says anything. Kimono on display. What about this one? Nothing? Nope, same thing. Old kimono on display. So our sister's missing, so obviously we now have to find her, because we have no idea where she is. Oh, there's an item. Was that an item? No, that was the camera flashing. Yeah, they changed the uh, items to be blue, or that glow blue instead. There's a little brazier in the corner of the room. There's dust inside. It hasn't been used in a long time. Okay. Nothing about the table. How these lanterns are lit? Who knows? Uh, did they restock this place? Nope, same thing. About here. Kimonos. Nope. Uh, let me check. Uh, our HP has been refilled as well. 
Um, I don't think this... No, wait, yes, it does show you. Okay, your HP is that long blue bar there on the side. Um, they've done a few changes with the design of the Camera Obscura, which is interesting. It looks more steampunk. Oh, I can move around. I was like, oh, when's this cutscene gonna be over? Weird. Okay, so... The butterflies were this way. Huh. So it seems like you do get to play as a twin. Every now and again. She can speed up, but her leg, of course, is damaged. Also, one thing I just realized is um, her little ribbon, uh, the red one, uh, it's supposed to kind of look like a uh, crimson butterfly. That's pretty neat uh, for a little motif and stuff in the game. You found some camera equipment in film. Acquired slow the slow power-up lens. Sweet! The slow power-up lens. Slows down the movement of a spirit for one spirit power and we can upgrade this it temporarily slows down the movement of the spirit being photographed to use press the triangle button when you've charged one or more spirit points while this effect is active the spirit will move slower and the shutter chances will be longer making the spirit easier to capture this is especially effective against quick spirits or spirits that are difficult to time raising the level of this effect extends its duration neat so now we can equip it through the camera screen on the menu. We also got... Huh. The measure equipped function. Measure. Uh, shows the spirit HP. There we go. <laughs> the fact that it has to be fucking equipped. When this function is equipped, it shows the remaining HP of the closest spirit to the capture circle of the viewfinder's upper left-hand corner. So we can also equip it. So let's go ahead and do that a bit. So camera... Additional functions? No. Equipped functions. So this is going to be uh, the HP. So that's already equipped, it seems. And then here we have slow uh, equipped, which we can upgrade. So that's fine. That's super cool. That is really, really, really cool. Hmm. <clears throat> But yeah, as I mentioned, there's been a lot of changes to this game, and that's one of them, which is pretty fucking cool. Uh, we're gonna see some more. Oh. Some more changes. Oh. Hello. I don't know if that's just the thing I'm supposed to take a picture of. No, it's a fucking enemy. Yeah, now it's active. Oh, ho. Oh. <laughs> no, I didn't count. Um, are you an enemy? 
I can't tell. Got her. No, never mind. We just got a critical shot on her. We pushed her back. Is that her HP? Or is that the spirit gauge? I can't tell yet. There's no turnaround function. Like, I can't press a button and turn around quickly. Which is really lame. Fuck. Getting her picture is really hard. There she goes. Okay. A moonstone. Okay. So we can listen to that on the radio. And a spirit orb. Alright. She fucking crawled out of the kimono box. Holy fuck, dude. That is so creepy. That's some, uh... What was it called in Japanese? Juon? Uh, the grudge, whatever it was called in Japanese. I forget. No, it's more like the ring. Why am I saying nothing much? Well, actually, yeah, 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 same thing, isn't it? No, no, the ring and, and the Gucci are different things. Um, but they're both Japanese films. <laughs> I still wasn't able to see um, the HP. I wasn't sure where the hell it was. Do we have that thing equipped? Or did I unequip it by accident? Like an idiot. Um... Uh, Okay, seems like now it's equipped. Okay, so I guess I had unequipped it before. That's on me. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's um, upgrade some of these functions. So, um, raises max spirit power to two. I think this one was one of the ones that could be uh, useful. Okay, so I have to add a spirit orb first. And then use points. There we go. Okay. I see how it is now. That's not too bad. Increases exorcismal power and range. This we need, of course, like big time. So we're going to go for this one next. Yeah, The Ring's a pretty freaky uh, film. That's for sure. Um... Oh, that's... Also, it's kind of jarring how it goes from like atmosphere to kind of like slightly i don't want to say jolly but you know slightly upbeat music it feels weird so i don't think we're supposed to stay here any longer i think we're just supposed to leave uh-oh Oh, yeah, now I see his HP. That was a messed up shot, but that wasn't zero shot. And there's another one over there. You're dead, though, right? Yes. So, yeah, 
this is one of the things that you can encounter now in Fatal Frame 2. Multiple ghosts at the same time. You can have like up to like three or even more ghosts encounters. Which is pretty freaky. Like imagine fighting for these things at the same time. Oh no. <laughs> I meant to exit out of it. Can we walk through them? Ooh, that's creepy. Ooh. Uh, oh yeah, we should listen to the other spirit stone, the moonstone. The moonstone that gives off a pale white glow it was probably left by the woman in the box. This place is pretty creepy. Not gonna lie, the concept of those type of stones is really fucking freaky. I'm just checking these past rooms to see if there's anything inside of them. Uh, possible items, things like that. I don't know if they restock things or, or what's up. But we'll just check this room and then the one right next to it and that's it. And then we'll leave. Mortuary tablets, incense burners, nothing else, nothing on the floor here, could have happened here, that's true. I mean, this place did get ransacked, so like, what happened in this village, besides the fucking massacre? Okay, let's uh, leave, since our sister went out the front door. I use charm. Okay. Use radio on the menu to listen to the words on the stone. Okay. So she has a, or this is a, a magatama. Her charm is a, a magatama. Kind of like a, a, a nocturne when we were playing it. Um, I brought it up a few times that, that this is kind of what they look like normally. I was trying to think of the because the the word she was using uh akai uh it sounds a lot well i know aka is red in japanese so i'm not sure if akai really is crimson or maybe just a different shade of red and they just translated it as crimson uh but chol is just butterfly so these are just mainly like personal things here that i'm picking up it looks like you can get out. Yep. Go outside. Yep. <clears throat> Just testing my own personal knowledge to an extent. So let's see if we can find anything back here. Because I know we're not going to be able to leave the village at all. If we tried going out this way. 
Actually, does anything happen if we go this way? Or do we find anything, perhaps? No? Nope, still the same thing. Can you say anything about this? A large tortoise, that's what must have been here. That's it. Hmm. And they just keep sparking, which is interesting. Uh, okay, what about this giant well thing? Huge, talon-like stone pillars are lined up around the giant pedestal. A uh, rock. Maybe it's some kind of altar. Well, it looks a little bit like the rope ritual altar from like the first game. But then again, this is like the five points and stuff. What do you say about this thing? Nothing. Nope, save point. Here? Um... Oh, okay, I guess. Might as well, right? <clears throat> that's already peculiar, like, uh, like just all this that's been going on. Hmm. One thing I did want to just double check, because I keep forgetting her name. Because this was my use charm, right? Yeah, so we're playing as Meal. I, I have to remember her name, because I always forget. Uh, where I'm super bad with names, uh, in general. Uh, unless I've known, like, the character or the person for a long time. I'll, I'll forget their names, usually. Uh, but, Meal. There's a statue of a guardian- of guardian deities here. What looks like twins is carved into its face. There seem to be many statues just like this one throughout the village. So, twin gods protecting this village. Is the game gonna let us get out of here? This is like bad ending speedrun. Any percent? Oh, there's a bridge. The roots of a giant tree, or at the roots of the giant tree, there's a hole. It appears to lead to some sort of cave. We can't go into it. But now I know there's a cave or something here. How about this way? Is this a cemetery? Oh shit, it's a graveyard? Oh no. There's bound to be g -g 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 ghosts everywhere. Glowing blue crystal. Okay. Let's see. Do we have anything else in between these rows? Yes, there's items. Spirit orb. Sweet. Getting rewarded for exploration. That's good. Door. Sorry. The door of the shrine is shut tight. I wonder if there's anything inside, though. Later on. Maybe. Find out. check this way so that's the cemetery we got at least a spirit stone out of it and another crystal which we'll listen to once we're out of this little area so i guess we gotta go back from once we came because i don't think we can go this way right nope so it seems like we're kind of stuck in this like village no matter what <laughs> which i mean of course i wasn't expecting to get out but At least we've now confirmed. Like, hey, you're here forever. Actually, is this something? No. Okay. So, let's listen to that other stone that we got. The glowing blue crystal. It was left in the cemetery. Okay. Hmm. 
So one thing you might be noticing, uh, at least from this uh, specific version of the game that we're playing, is that sometimes the audio keeps going after the subtitles have cut off. But that's because the subtitles seem to, at least from what I've noticed so far, cover what's being said to an extent. And then, since the audio is just delayed, because, you know, it's voice acting. Uh, is this where we game to the fish can't see a penetrable pen. Because um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure the original voice acting in English, um, the timing for it would have ended, I guess, uh, by the time we, you know, the, the subtitles would have said, kill her, kill her, kill her, and that's it. Um, but through the Japanese voice acting, it seems like they do extend it a little bit more. And I've yet to refresh my memory on what the original dub of this game is. Uh, but I can't, I don't remember it being good and or amazing. I don't remember it being bad though. Fatal Frame 1's dub was pretty bad. Like, the whole my eyes thing was like, really weird. Um, but I mean, like I said, it's, it was 2001. You can't blame them, they tried. Uh, I think they tried a little better in this one. Um. Uh, is it up here? This one. No? Is it... Here? Frozen Man. Okay. Oh, we can't go in there. That could have. Um... But yeah, so far the Japanese dub is really, really good. I really do like the line delivery. You can see what looks like a small, like a stall inside. That's sort of building. This must be a stable. Mm -hmm. Oh, and a well. Oh boy. The flashlight beam doesn't reach the bottom of the well. There doesn't seem. There doesn't appear to be any water. A faint current of air rises from the bottom. Oh. Well, ain't that nice. The sliding screens have fallen off, and you can see through the whole house. It doesn't look like there's anything left in the house. God. Imagine being stuck in this scenario. Like, I don't think I would make it. Mainly because I don't have a twin. But, <laughs> imagine being in a situation where you're stuck in a Groundhog Day that is, like, just constant murder every single night. That sounds like a fucking nightmare. <clears throat> okay, so, there appears to be an entrance here. Okay, I did not want to go through that. I thought it was going to be like a slide puzzle or something. Because it had a little star on it. Or a symbol or something on it. Because this is locked, isn't it? The door seems to be locked. Yeah. So now we can go through the path. Just to confirm it. <clears throat> but yeah, like being in a scenario like this. Exploring an abandoned village. From probably hundreds of years ago. You're back, huh? Yai, you and Sai have to get out. She's at the ceremony master's house. She's gonna do it. Go get her. There's still time to catch up with her. Oh, and he's gone. Oh, not anymore. Okay, so I don't know if the audio cutting out like that is intentional, or if uh, my copy has a slight uh, error with it. If there's a little problem with it, <clears throat> maybe the, the disc is skipping a little bit. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, so we have to try to find the Ritual Master's house. So a lot of the um, same motifs from the first game seem to be used a lot in this game. So as far as we know, there has to be some sort of ritual. Uh, and it requires what I assume to be twins, right? Because we have our sister and ourselves. Um, let's check the map. Yeah, the map is big enough. Look, look at how big this fucking place is. Compared to the previous uh, game, compared to Fatal Frame 1. Oof. Yeah, seems like the old tree leads to something, or it's a door that we can't go through. And then here we have the Osaka house. And then the storehouse, which we weren't able to go into. Okay, let's proceed. Can we look through here? Mm, same thing, just everything is broken. So we know she went that way. What if we explore this way? You know, we don't have to go after her right away. Maybe we'll find some other things here. Locked houses that we can't go into. Yep, locked house. Do you hear that humming in the background? Oh, that's so creepy. Look at the fog rolling in. Oh, is this the right way? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Here I am like, let's take a detour. Nope. Going the right way. Even when I force myself to go the wrong way, it seems like, or what I think might be the wrong way, it ends up being the right way. Uh. This? Another, like, tree opening? There, actually, there's a whole piece of some sort of cave. We check the map again. Is that yeah, it connects to the cemetery. So there's like an old tree here that we can go through, it seems, and proceed that way. So <clears throat> right. right. Let's go back then. God still like this this entire setting is so fucking eerie. Like abandoned village in the woods in the mountains instead of abandoned house. In the mountains. Now it's a whole fucking village. Oh, and these torches are lit. Filthy garden lanterns are lined up here in Paris. Oh. No, okay, yeah, yeah. Just a flame came into view. Although, if they were to get brighter as you start stepping up, that would be cool. Like, as soon as you pass them, if they, like, start burning, that would be a really cool effect. What do we have? Something on the ground. <laughs> More sacred water. So far, we haven't needed to use healing items, which is good. Let's hope we can keep it that way. Because, um... I was a little cocky in Fatal Frame 1... Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. oh shit. Oh, farmers or villagers, I mean. Oh. oh, oh. Bro. Okay, 
one of them is down. Unless he just... Wait, did they just go into the ground? Oh, yes, they did. They just changed their... Like, he, he went into the ground and then just, like, appeared in front of us. And you go. Just kill. Okay. Oh fuck! I was going to try to take a fatal frame. Like that. Or a zero shot. But the guy got me first. Again, I just have to get used to the controls a little bit more. <clears throat> Especially the camera movement. But I'll get it. That was fucking creepy. I was like, oh, what's in here? A fucking ghost. Just appears in front of us. No big deal, right? Shrine Shadow. Okay, so it seems like we're at a shrine. Anything else here? Just by looking. No? Okay. How many points do we have, by the way? Uh, 1,500. That's a lot. Right, let's go ahead and upgrade our camera then. <clears throat> by adding a spirit orb to sensitivity. And add it here. Go. And let's go and power it up. Sweet. So now we have stronger a stronger camera and more range, which is pretty rad. Uh, I also forgot to use slow. We have slow. If uh let's see. Yeah, if you look there on the bottom left, we have two little orbs. If I press triangle. That's not what I meant to do. But if we end up pressing, I believe it was triangle, during uh the ghost fights, we should be able to encounter. Uh, we should be able to slow them down. Do you have an Xbox? I have a 360, but I don't have an original Xbox. There was a special version of this game released for the Xbox too, uh, called the Director's Cut. Uh, same with Fatal Frame One. Uh, there was a special edition like released for the Xbox, which had a lot more content, uh, extra. Um, costumes, things like that. I think an alternate ending as well. And I believe it's the best version to play, just because of the content. But that's about it. Uh, same with this one, the director's cut is the more costumes, more endings, or like one extra ending, things like that. It's a bunch of talismans, yeah, everyone. Beyond the lattice, you can see a straw doll laying down. It's about the same size of a person. I was like, is it a straw doll? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, that's fucking creepy, dude. Why would they have that here? There's two of them. And what appears to be like an open hole. Can we get them? Uh, wait. Yeah, no. It doesn't let us through the hole. Let's go this way. No, that was just our HP. I thought uh, a blue bar was glowing. Another spirit orb. Okay. Stinked. There, something else over here? Oh, it's on the other side. Okay. Alright, let's look at the shrine. An old mirror has been enshrined in front of the altar with the crimson butterfly picture. Okay, normally that's when we get attacked by things. Uh, I guess not right now. There's a gaping hole here. Shouldn't say anything about it. A large curtain draped over the entire wall has a butterfly crest painted on it. Hmm. And then I assume that's like a door. I'm gonna grab whatever this is first. More secret water. Man, they're just giving those out like candy. Okay, what about back here? 
Doors plastered all over countless talismans. Doors suck fast. No matter how hard you try, you can't open it. Hmm. Is that a hole? Hold on. No, go back. Is that a hole in the floor? Yeah. Is it? Or is that like water? No, I think it is a hole. Why didn't you say anything about it? Okay, that's weird. Okay, well, let's look at the... This here again. Can you grab the mirror? Nope. Alright, let's try to leave then. Let's see what happens if uh, something tries to attack us. Looks like you can get out. Yep. Okay. So maybe this wasn't the right way to go. Perhaps. We just got attacked by villagers and like that's it. Okay, then. So let's try going the other way that we, I assume we needed to go, but we saw our sister go through, uh, Mayu. It's for me. It's, it's for me. God, the fact that we have to fucking play as twins, that's the worst part when it comes to remembering names for me. Does this open? No, still locked. Alright, let's save here. It's interesting that we are giving a lot of save points. Was not expecting that from this game. Oh. I guess we can take a picture of her. Because I don't think she's... Well, she's not a ghost. We're starvers. She's our sister. Okay, so this is the right way to go, then. Oh, there's stairs here. Before we go, let's go up this little ramp. Let's get told that this door is locked and that we can't go into. Oh, never mind. Looks like we can go in. Um, sure. Let's go in. Let's see. What a house is this? Sliding screen room. Uh. Hmm. Because right now we are inside of the. Kiryu house. Oh. Kiryu. Okay. And the Kiryu Tachibana. Okay. Well, let's explore this house a little bit. I know this game has, like, side quests. So you can, like, go off the beaten path and do other things. What the fuck? Okay. That's weird. An ancient projector is loaded with old film. We could take it or leave it alone. What happens if we take it? Old film in bad state. Okay, yeah, so this is the super, like, crappy film that we have. Then this is the normal uh, film. So if we go by the, uh, you know, metaphors that I was using last time, I guess this would be, like, a survival knife type of, like, film. This is like pistol ammo still. We have 10 herbal medicines. What the fuck? We have three sacred water so far. Uh, the camera obscura itself. The flashlight. Film reel. 
uh, spread stone radio and a black bag. So, okay. Door is locked. What about in here? Heavy cloth sways in the wind. Can we go through it? Weird. These guys must have been loaded to have like their own like um media center back in like the 40s or whatever. Like a having like a movie room back then in a fucking rural vi village in the mountains of Japan. Like bro, you must have been rich as fuck. Okay. Let me see here. Room. There's some ambiance, but there's no like ghost reading so far. Now the only thing that worries me, uh oh, is that the herbal medicine that we have does not heal up like much if any health there we go yeah zero shot come on fuck another fatal frame Zero shot, but that was pretty bad. One more. Nice. So that was the good shot. That, that was a pretty good shot. I'm gonna check this memo again real quick. Was it... Spirit capture. Which was it? Pleasure. Slow. That's. Uh, press the triangle button when you've charged one or more spirit points. Okay, so I guess she was slowed down. That's m my assumption. But it seems like we still have the two spirit points at the bottom. I don't know if I ended up using them or not. Only one of those little orbs is glowing. So it could be that we used one, but not the other. Uh, let's check the map here as well. It's back here, there was nothing else. No, I guess not. Alright then. Nope. It's a little thing in here. Crystal barrel. Okay. We'll listen to that in a little bit. Let's go into this room. Never mind, let's listen to it here. <laughs> Alright. Hey. It's either Chrysal Barrel or Crystal Barrel uh, that gives off a green glow. It was found in the corridor connecting the houses. Also, even if you don't speak uh, Japanese, or if you speak very little, um, you'll be able to kind of, I guess, learn a few words just from like those little voice clips, like how she kept saying that it hurts, which is just itai, 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 itai. That's it. Oh, 
there's fucking more here. Why didn't the map tell me there's stairs? Or are these stairs? Yes. Why doesn't the map show me that there's stairs here? That's or this a uh, little stairway, I guess. Some steps. That's weird. Um, but okay. Map design so far, 7 out of 10. Oh. Stun. Hell yes. Okay. Intermittently stops the movement of a spirit. Requires 2. Uh, and we can upgrade it to extended duration. Stops the movement of the spirit being photographed intermittently. Um, <clears throat> press triangle button when you've charged up 2 or more spirit points. While this effect is active, the spirit will stop off and on, making it easier to grab a shutter chance. This is especially effective against quick spirits and spirits that are difficult to time. Sweet. Anything else? Oh, just that. Okay, let's actually equip that. Um, I prefer that over slow. Yes, it's like stun. Stun is pretty cool. If, they're, if they just stay in place and we just keep shooting at them, just pew, 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 pew. They can't do anything. A small lamp lights the surface of a table. And don't you find that weird, Maya? Or Mew? That there's a fucking light? Or lit lamp? Lamp? Lantern? Hmm. Loris 2. Look at what the village of the, was, on the old, old, was on the old shelf. The guardian deity statues in this area are different in that they are engraved with shrine maidens. It's of course. The village children say that the statues honor the gods of the village. Also, a book in the house links the statues to something called the Crimson Sacrifice. Maybe the forbidden ritual is related to this Crimson Sacrifice. Interesting. The books appear to be about rituals and customs. Okay. Well, this giant kimono. Nothing. Behind it, nothing. No. Okay. And is this gonna be locked? Yep. So if we check our map. Does it mark it locked? Uh, no. So all the doors are just marked as blue. Whether or not they um, are locked, it's not going to tell us. Because in the first game, if you stepped into a room, you could see, you know, dark red and light red and then green, I believe. And, of course, the dark red doors could be opened with, like, a lock or uh, a password or, you know, a key combination. Well, the light red ones would not let you open them. And then you had the green doors, were, which were opened or openable. Is there anything here? No, we can't even walk into the grass. Okay. Hmm. So far, I'm liking this game quite a bit, not gonna lie. Uh, like, the first game was really good. Like, I, I enjoyed the shit out of it. Like, playing that was really fun. And then this one? Ooh. But yeah, I'm enjoying this game quite a lot more. Okay. Wait, is that a ghost? Oh! <laughs> Alright, I want to test out the, uh, the, like, paralysis shot or whatever. Okay, so that does stun him. So yeah, we ended up using both of the shots at the bottom. Or the two little um, orbs. I also should have taken a picture there. <laughs> whoa, whoa. There we go. Zero shot, double shot. Hell yeah. Alright, he's dead. Uh, 
Uh, no worries right now. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you uh, sleep well. Catch you next time. Alright, let's see what's in the door now. Now we can take a picture of this. Is it higher? Is it lower? Do I have to be closer? Yeah, I have to be closer. <laughs> okay. It looks like crimson butterflies. Okay. Hmm. So there's only one place we know of that has crimson butterflies, or that we've seen crimson butterflies in, and that's the shrine. I guess maybe we were supposed to go this way, see that cutscene, and then go uh, to the shrine and see, like, the dudes going up there. But we went the... I forced myself to go the wrong way. And maybe we... Sequence broke? Perhaps? Alright, this door is locked. And... Yeah, alright, let's try doing that. Let's try going to the shrine. Let's see what happens. We're seeing what happens. Never mind. They're leading me somewhere else. So they want me to go that way. So not the shrine. Okay. In that case. Uh let's save them. I keep saving all the fucking time, but I also don't want to again die and then having to do all or have to do all of that again. Hey, Mari. How you doing? So we have to go back to this dude. Or is this the first time? No, no. You're back. Yay. You and Sai have to get out. She's at the ceremony master's house. She's going to do it. Go get her. There's still time to catch up with her. The key to the gates are enshrined in twin deity statues. Look for statues like that somewhere in the village. Mm. Yeah, so we don't take a picture of him. So it would be the... Yes. Something shown in the photo. It's like crimson butterflies. So I'm guessing we have to find the other ones. Crimson butterflies flutter over the statue of the guardian deities. Okay. Does that count as opening the door? Hmm. Yeah, it kind of is like Luigi's Mansion. It's more like Luigi's Village at this point. Uh, last game, I guess, was more like Luigi's Mansion when we only had a mansion to explore, while here we have more of a village to look through. Or to explore, I mean. Hmm. Well, I know there was a few of those little statues all over the place. Do we have to find all of them, or just like one or two? Because uh, there's this one here but this one isn't glowing blue so I guess we're fine hmm. 
but yeah, I guess just really quickly, um, in case some of you are joining late or, you know, joined after the intro, um, <clears throat> the plot of Fatal Frame 2 is we do play as twin sisters. Um, they were out in the woods, and then one of them started following a set of, like, floating crimson butterflies into the forest, or deeper into the forest. And now it turns out that we're inside this abandoned village that basically has, like, a Groundhog Day effect, where they relive a night where a huge massacre happened here. And basically every night that massacre repeats itself. And it seems to involve um, at least uh, twin shrine maidens and some sort of ritual, uh, a crimson ritual. Which, I mean, if we, we played Fatal Frame 1, so we can assume there's got to be blood or something involved, right? Some sort of sacrifice of like the twin sisters or who knows, right? In order to stop the uh, gates of the underworld from opening, right? Kind of a little bit kind of like the last game. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Our twin sister was with us at the beginning of the game and now she's kind of like disappeared. The gate is stuck fast. There are two ornaments on the left and right doors depicting two people. There's a slot of each, sorry, in each of the ornaments for inserting a flat square key. Well, we didn't pick up a key from the thing that we, like that picture that we took. Um, oh no. Um, okay, wait, there was like another, uh, one of those statues like right here, I think. Maybe we have to look behind it? Or if we interact with it, it might give us the key. Let's see. Where was this one? Was it like this way? No. Uh, was it behind the house? Oh, wait, it's right here. Uh, you looked around, but it doesn't look like there's a hidden key here. Okay. What about behind this house? There's one over here. Is it this one? Oh, maybe it's the one with the butterflies. Oh, we found film. Good. <laughs> maybe it's the one with the flying butterflies uh, that has the key behind it. Perhaps, you know, just, just, just guess. Shenan comes a small wooden block and we have the right key. It's shaped like one of the statues, but it's only the right half. Oh. See if we can find more of a. I guess we are supposed to go this way, huh? Like the game really wants you to go this way, maybe. Let's see if we can find another one of those like twin statues. I don't remember if there was another one nearby or not, but I think so. Nope. All right, let's go this way. So we saw the cutscene up here. But we saw that before rescuing our sister, or seeing our sister uh, go into the mansion uh, doors or whatever. So I don't know if there's another like statue here that we have to look through or look at. Nope. And I don't remember there being one inside of the shrine, so we should be fine. Was that something? No. Um. All right, then let's try going back to the other um, shrine, uh, not shrine, um, the other statue by the by the storehouse. Maybe uh, I wasn't selecting it or I wasn't pressing X the right way or looking at the right area. Maybe we can find another a key. We'll see. We found the right one. We need the left one. So oh, there's one here. Doesn't be there's no key there. Okay. Dude, if we have to go all the way back to like the entrance of the fucking village, that would suck. Cause there's a few over there. But man. Or if they make you go all the way to the fucking graveyard. 
<laughs> That'd be lame. But I doubt the game will do that to you. That's kind of dumb. Okay, so let's see if we can find another one. So let's check this one one more time. And we'll see if that actually gives us a key or not. Was there another one out here? I don't think so. Just the well, right? Yeah. Here? Nope. Alright, let's go through the door. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, these are still here. I, I know they're fluttering, dude, but... Okay. Well, for sure we can't do anything with it, right? No. And there's nothing on this side. So, do you have anything else to say? Um, the confinement starts, gate locked. Someone to maintain the statues, open the statues somewhere in the village. Okay. So... Hmm. Okay. So we found one of them. So I guess, yeah, let's go back to like, the entrance of the village. There should be, like, two other statues. Dude, if they make us go back to, like, the very, very fucking entrance with the uh, lanterns and stuff, with that safe point all the way up the hills by the graveyard... That's going to be kind of shitty of them to, like, have done that to the player. Because this one doesn't have it. Nope. Um, yeah, doesn't look like there's anything. We somehow missed that film the first time. Okay. Well, now I know i got to be checking those statues all the time. Um... Oh, there's another one right here. No key. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. Hold on. What was that? It's not like something glowing. Oh. It's just the actual lanterns that I mentioned a bit ago. I swear, the fucking key is, like, right here. Nope. About on this side. Nope. There's a stump. Safe point. Stump. There should be another one right here. Are you fucking shitting me? This is the one that has it? On literal opposite ends. That is, that is kind of bad. Like, that's kind of shitty. That wasn't a zero shot. Just kill. Sweet. Double shot. And that should do it. Well, on one of them at least. hit X in the right, like, the right moment, but I fucked it up. That was a zero shot, though. That was good. Well, now let's save. Oh. Before we do, let's, uh, pick this item up. 
which appeared after that fight. Another spirit orb. Okay. Anything else? Any other items that I might have missed that the camera angles will not show us? Uh, nope. Alright, let's save. Okay, so now let's run all the way back to the fucking mansion. And this game really is atmospheric as fuck. this way. try to get like zero shots but these guys just like don't attack us enough double shot double kill neat there you go so with all these like villagers here and there being like a massacre that happened in this town like and it sounds like they purged themselves you know Okay, so we got another stone we can listen to. So let's bust out the radio and let's get that spirit stone. Oh, her charm has something else? Okay, we'll do this one then we'll do Mayu's charm. So you have 30,000 points? Holy f you're like, you're doing pretty well. Um, okay, let's uh, upgrade something then. Uh, I still think maybe sensitivity and accumulation should probably be better. Um, let me double check one quick thing. Just before I forget. Because I remember one of the guides I had open. I just kind of read over at least the very beginning of it. Just for the... Uh, upgrades and to kind of familiarize myself with some of the actual things to focus on upgrading so let me just check that here uh, range and accumulation is what they say to focus on okay so then yeah let's focus on that for now hmm. so size of the capture circle and then the maximum spirit power because the more spirit power we can have right now we have two 
um, we can use certain abilities. Like, for example, this the sun requires two, which we can use now. But, you know, if we can have four, for example, it might be better. So let's go ahead and put one here. And let's go ahead and put one here. So now let's go ahead and power these up. And now let's do range. There we go. Hmm. Oh, we already blew through our points. Look at that. <laughs> Still, we're also doing like double shots and stuff, like double kills. It would be best to try to do the zero shots if I can, but the fucking ghosts don't seem to attack that often. Like in the first game, you know, it would take like two, three seconds that they would just float around you and then they would attack you. Is this open now? No, still locked. Um, in this game, they just like sit around for like 10 seconds and then maybe attack you or they might disappear for like a second and then appear somewhere else. Yeah. Okay. What's up, dude? You are in danger if you stay in the village any longer. Yeah, I know, dude. Mm. So it seems like he lost his brother. Because he said, uh, you know, if you don't get out of the village, you'll lose someone you love just like I did. So, hmm. All right, so let's go open the gate. So to see if we, if we can uh, rescue our sister. Hopefully it's not too late. At least one of the cool things about this game is that there's actually like a sky where in the uh, fatal frame one the sky box was just completely black like you could not see anything above you it was just black like pitch black except for maybe some trees and stuff like that there in the distance here you actually have like clouds and stuff which is kind of neat just adds more to the atmosphere all right let's play some I was like, I'm just checking to see if there's like any fucking items that they might be hiding. I didn't see any, and then here it is. Look at this shit. Alright, what about this corner? No? Not hiding anything there? Okay. Just the bridge has brought it away and has left a big hole. The hole you can glim you glimpse the jet black surface of the water. Cool. Some foreshadowing for the fifth game. Floating woman. Rishi, though. I don't 
don't see the thing glowing at all. Oh, she's like right here. There she is. You wanna... to bust out the herbal medicine now let's see if it actually heals up a good amount like first game or if it's like garbage oh it's like a fuck ton never mind that's like really good they gave us way too much for this part of like for the beginning of the game then again i don't think they were expecting veterans like us <laughs> all right uh it's fucking creepy dude this ghost is like eerie oh no Veterans like us, and then we get fucking. Oh no, that didn't work. Oh, that didn't count either. Run! <laughs> and now we're back to where. <laughs> uh, just eating my own words, huh? Run, my run. Oh, she's right behind us. Got her. Neat. So we've yet to find any, like, shotgun film yet. We found a bunch of pistol ammo, but not, like shotgun ammo yet when the first game gave us like shotgun ammo like right before the first like mini boss okay a green crystal and a spirit reward oh hold on can we take a picture of Is it in the sky? Is it below us? Is it this little crack right here? Oh, wait, right here. Drowned woman. Yee. Okay. Shit, it's not for once again. Okay, let's, uh... Let's upgrade accumulation, maybe? Or instead, maybe range? Yeah, yeah, we'll do range instead. So let's pump it here. And then... What? What do you mean, not enough spirit power? Oh, that's our total score of 34,000 points. Oh, man. So we've got 7,004 right now. This one, we had 20,000. Then what does that just normally show up? Under items, okay. Um, oops, I have to pay attention then. Alright, let's listen to the green crystal. The crystal that gives off a strange green light. It was found stuck in the broken bridge. It's a good thing the game gave us a bunch of herbal medicine at the beginning. 
or we would have been fucked during that fight. But it it's basically like a full heal almost. It heals like three fourths of your HP. It's kind of outrageous. Bloody kimono. Okay. Save point right here. That's good. Start exploring some more. Let's see what we can find around here. Uh, anything crazy here? Doesn't seem like it. No blue crystals or orbs or whatever around. Grab it. Okay. So she went in here. Um. We look, we can see the symbol of the butterfly. Is there anything else this way, then? It appears to be like flowers. Crimson colored... Ponies? Peonies? Peonies? I scatter in the dark ground. Oh, and there's something here. Oh, yeah. Spirit Orb. Eight. Oh, there's a door here, too. Uh, well, let's look at the map here. We're currently in the grounds of whatever house this is. Um, or mansion this is. Um... Yeah, let's go through here. Just kidding. It's locked. But let's go through the main doors. No light. And there's a... Oh yeah, that's something I'm gonna have to like warn you guys about right, right now. Um, the subtitles will get cut off right away, so you're gonna have to be like really quick at reading before I take those pictures. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck. This dropping was so subtle. Oh, it's so good. No lights, just a thunderstorm of brewing outside. That is like nightmarish. All right, let's go. Is that a ghost? That we can take a picture of, or is that just... I think so. I think that might be a fight. Mm. Awesome camera equipment. Acquired the instant additional function. Instant ad additional function. Detects the fatal frame of the spirit and signals you by marking the light in the upper part of the viewfinder. Hold on. By making the light in the upper uh, part of the viewfinder flash red, a fatal frame is the most 
opportune moment to shoot within a shutter chance. If you capture a fatal frame, a shutter chance will occur during the blast back. Shooting again during the shutter chance creates a combo shot. I don't think we can equip two at a time, can we? Oh wait, yes we can. No? Wait, no we can't. Uh, additional functions. This is the fatal frame. Okay, so we we can have those two on. That's cool. So now that if you look at the top, we have that little like light bulb. Uh, right below, there's a little dot. I'm assuming that's what's gonna flash red when we can take the uh, fatal frame. So let's see if we can get good at that. So let's get closer to this uh, girl. That's obviously like a ghost. Nope, and she's gone. Okay. Never mind. Some more pistol ammo. Purple medicine. Anything else? Decorative hairpins. Anything unusual? Nope. Well then. Oh, was this the right way to go? There's a door right there, but I won't see if there's anything this way. So let's not go that way. And again, um, our twin sister oh, is the one that can like uh, interact with the spiritual world. Uh, need to, okay, so that's that's fine. Um, she's the one that can interact with the spiritual world, or she can see spirits and stuff like that. We can't. That's why we're using the camera. Uh, and that's why we have those sequences. So, let's proceed then. Let's... So it does start to flash red, if you pay close attention. There. Another fatal frame. Now if we can get core shots, that'd be a little better. That's when the crosshair is matching. It's like right there. Okay, we got close. It's not too bad, but it could be better. Oh wait, can I do like two back to back? I thought we had to wait for this thing to like charge up again. Hmm. Okay, we'll test it out again in a little bit. See, he's dead. Because um, if you look carefully right there where it was like flashing red, the little light, it flashed red twice. So it started flashing red, I took the shot, and then it started flashing again. So as far as I know, you can't take two shots back to back, but we can try testing it out on this dude. Wherever they are. There are the walls. Oh ho ho ho. Run my or Mew. Alright, let's do it this time. Oh, where'd she go? Oh, there she is. 
Okay. Oh, yes, we can do it twice. Yeah, combo. Oh, we could have done three. Oh, all right, we're going to fuck these ghosts up so badly. Just right behind us. Here it goes. Fuck, that wasn't it. That was a double shot. I think. I think that counted. That was good. We're busting ghosts really nicely. So it seems like whenever you do end up uh, doing a fatal frame, it ends up reef. Um, what's it called loading your camera like automatically because in the first game you would just mash the shoot button and you would shoot right you would take a picture in this game you have to load in the film which is fine um it's still not yet too <clears throat> but it seems like it loads automatically as soon as you as soon as you land the shot so let's see if we can do that uh with every fight get wombo combos Well, before we get that, the obvious thing. It's falling over. Is that a door? Is this a little closet door? Probably. What do we have in here? Nothing. Oh, but there's something here. Besides the obvious, there's something right there. It's a good thing we explored. Sacred water. Nice. There's probably going to be a boss fight here, is my hunch. Oh. What the fuck, dude? Wait, what? Excuse me? What? Instant death? What the fuck? Huh? Sure, I'm like, okay, it's whatever. We'll just take a, a fatal frame. I'll get closer. Nah. What the fuck was that? We're gonna have to load. Oh my god, dude. And uh, now I'm gonna just do a, a save here real quick. Just in case, you know. Otherwise, we have to, again, do all of this. And it's to avoid having to do a lot of stuff over and over again Let's see if we can grab this item fluorite okay no oh, my use charm oh yeah did we hear this no Hmm. 
So it seems like that girl that we just saw in here might have been uh, maybe the twin or one of the twins. And if that's the case, it could have been that maybe she's the one that started the massacre. Maybe. Uh, right now I'm just saving again, uh, at least uh, after getting all that stuff and listening to uh, the radios so we don't forget to do so later. All right. Here goes. Like, is this supposed to be a chase sequence? And camera obscure doesn't have any effect. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh fuck! It's a chase sequence. Oh no, dude! I fucking hate these. <laughs> run, me, run! Is it still after us? I don't want to find out, dude. A stone mirror. Now they give us one. Now they give us a thing that reminds us from death. Okay. Well, let's see if that ghost thing is still after us. Let's go back into that room real quick. <laughs> yeah, right. up there but she's not a ghost so it doesn't mean too much i don't think we're supposed to be able to take pictures of her or if we do i don't think they matter okay well there is a safe point right here so in that case let's go ahead and save now that we're actually in chapter three And I guess we'll wrap up the stream here. It's been about three hours almost. We did quite a bit of the game so far. Um, I think there's nine chapters in this. Let me double check. Um, if we check real quick here, give me one second. <clears throat> I know they get longer. Um... Yeah, there's um, 10 chapters, I think, from what I'm seeing here. There's a final chapter, and there might be a post game. I'm not sure. If that's the case, uh, we're about, you know, almost, or we're about a fourth of the way through, almost. So we're getting pretty far into the game uh, for, like, a first stream. Um, I know what's coming up should be, like I said, a little longer and a little more intriguing now that we're inside of a, a mansion kind of like the first game <laughs> um but yeah i guess we should go ahead and call it here i mean it's almost been about three hours uh which i mean isn't bad for like a stream uh so let me get ready to wrap this up here let me swap screens real quick